Hi everybody. Now let's go back to the beginning. You have a feel for the advantages and disadvantages of buying from your landlord. And you got a super quick overview of the home buying process. Before we go any further, now's a good time to figure out if you're even in the ballpark of being able to afford to buy the home. You don't want to pitch the idea to your landlord and have to come back and say later on, sorry about sending you on a wild goose chase. It's better to get your ducks in a row before approaching your landlord. Knowing whether it looks like you can afford to buy the place is the first duck. Also being prepared shows your landlord that you know what you're doing, that you know enough about the whole home buying process that trying to sell the place to you could actually work. You can get a ballpark idea of whether you can afford the place in less than an hour online using mortgage calculators. Or you can get an excellent idea within a half hour phone call to a loan officer. The problem with loan officers is that it may take you days of talking to friends and researching online before you find a good loan officer you like and trust. If you've already found a good loan officer, definitely skip the online mortgage calculators. Just talk to your loan officer about whether you can afford the place. But if you don't have a loan officer yet and you want to get a quick and dirty estimate, online mortgage calculators are a nice option. Most mortgage calculators online tell you what the monthly payment would be when you give them a house price. That's not the kind of calculator you want right now. You want the kind of mortgage calculator that helps you figure out what price of homes you can afford given your income. Sometimes they're called mortgage affordability calculators. Or just search the internet for how much house can I afford with my salary or something like that. In the next lesson, I have a quick tutorial on my current favorite online mortgage calculators. All these calculators will ask you two big questions. What's your income? Obviously, the more money you make, the more money mortgage companies will lend you. And question number two, how much do you currently pay each month on credit cards, car loans, student loans, child support, and so on? Obviously, the more money you already have to pay out each month to cover your current debts, the less money mortgage companies will lend you. They'll also ask you how much cash you plan to pay up front for that house. That is, they'll ask you how much money you plan to put down as a down payment on the house. If you pay a lot of cash up front for the house, then you'll be able to buy a more expensive house, of course. So check out a few mortgage affordability calculators online. You'll see that different calculators will give you very different estimates of how expensive a home you can buy but at least you'll be able to see what ballpark you're in. Hopefully some of the calculators will show you what your total monthly payment would be, including estimated principal, interest, property taxes, homeowners insurance, mortgage insurance if you have to have that, and if you live in a homeowners association or a condo association, the HOA or condo fees. This total monthly mortgage payment is called PITI, P-I-T-I, Principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. This is what you'll pay every month. PITI is your monthly mortgage payment. One of the reasons online calculators can be so far off is they have to guesstimate your monthly taxes and insurance, and most assume you don't have any monthly HOA or condo fees, unless you punch those numbers in yourself. Oh, and by the way, don't forget that after you own it, you'll have to pay for all repairs and maintenance. Most online calculators don't budget for maintenance and repairs, but you should. Expect some unexpected expenses to occasionally pop up. If it turns out the online mortgage calculators say you can't afford the house you're currently renting, you should put this project on hold until you find and talk to a good mortgage loan officer. It's a bit of a project to find a good mortgage loan officer, but if it turns out you can't get a loan to buy the place right now, Loan officers are usually great at figuring out what you need to do to bring your credit score up or whatever it is you need to do to qualify for a mortgage loan sometime in the future. It's not unusual that people need to spend several months working on improving their credit scores before they can qualify for a mortgage. Now, 
Just because some mortgage company will lend you X dollars doesn't mean you should borrow X dollars. Most people don't borrow the maximum amount they qualify for. They don't want to be house poor. If it turns out this total estimated monthly cost, the PITI, is less than your current rent, that would be very good. <laughs> and that actually happens sometimes. Even if it's a little bit more than your current rent, that would work out too. Just be sure you've included all the monthly costs. That is, that you're including all the PITI monthly payment. Also, once you find out what you can afford, you should definitely look around to see what other homes you could buy in that price range. You might find that you can afford a home that would suit you better than the house you're currently renting. Maybe you could afford homes in a better location, a better neighborhood, newer homes, larger homes with better schools, or whatever. If, when you're looking at all your home options, you decide that your current rental is one of your best options, then it's time to approach your landlord with the idea. But first, let me show you how to use my current favorite online affordability calculators. 